Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm gonna try to make this quick. I uh, don't know how much battery I have on my phone, uh, but I want to try to squeeze this in tonight before I miss the deadline on Doom 143's 700 plus sub contest. Uh, great guy. Um, I remember living in Hawaii and, and collecting comic books out there, and uh, had some really cool stores out there when I was out there. So ho I'm hopefully they're still around for him. Uh, but like I say, he's, he's a great guy. Got obviously had great contact content. He's giving away some really great prizes. So he wants to do a few things: show off 50 books or so, favorites in your collections, you know, whatever you want to show your key books, favorite books, favorite covers, whatever you want to show. So I broke it down into two different categories. Um, so I'll go through each one as I go through, and then I'll give out three shout outs to subscribers that are under hubs, under 100 subs at the end. Uh, so first few books that I picked out were ones that, my favorite books that I think I've, I've bought and off the shelf, and obviously one's a new book, um, Jupiter's Legacy, number one, great series, I love this and the, um, Jupiter's Legacy 2, and I came with the other one that, that, that came with it, but love that book. And these are books I bought off the shelf years ago when I first, um, not first when I was collecting, but back when I was collecting. I love blue, so I love the blue Aquaman. Four-part mini. Aquaman number one. Um, don't have the whole series yet of this, but uh, Rocket Raccoon, I always love this book. I read this book so many times. A lot of people hate this character, but uh, I've always loved Booster Gold. There's Booster Gold number one. Everybody loves this cover. Hulk 340. That book's been read many times, along with this one. Captain America Annual number 8. Famous little iconic Wolverine cover there. This book's been read so many times. <laughs> um, and then some books that... Some books I've always wanted growing up and didn't have until recently. Get the thing number 1. Always love the thing. Batman and the Outsiders, number 1. All Star Squadron number one, and a character that I've been really getting into lately is Blue Devil. Blue Devil number one, love those books. And the bulk of my collection has been focused on lately is a lot of Bronze Age stuff, uh, both Marvel and DC. DC in the seventies they came out with like a lot of like really short series. Um, the first one got canceled, but I love them all, and I try to collect. I think I have most of them that I've been um, trying to collect here. I've uh, Firestorm number one, so I have all that volume there. Uh, Black Lightning number one. I have all that run there. Still working on this one. Secret Society of Supervillains. I finally picked up number one there. Steel, Destructible Man. I had issue two shift from back in the day when I first started collecting. Um, so I finally had all those. Another that series I'm working on still, Shade the Changing Man. Got the full run of the first volume of Ragman. Justice Inc. Full run of that. Cobra. Pretty cool story. Um, got all seven issues. Um, number eight was actually published in another... Issue eight didn't come up, but the story was published in another book that I'm trying to find right now. Shazam number one, still working on that one. And this book's been in my collection for a very long time. Karate Kid number one, got a full run of that, loved all those books there. And I also have the St. Bronze Age, but uh, Adventure Comics 346 is the first appearance of Karate Kid. So with DC comes Marvel Bronze Age stuff. Start off with a nice Marvel Premiere 15 there. Love that one. Run I've been working on for a while now. Defenders number one. I always try to pick these up cheap when I can. Marvel two and one. Anything with the, anything with the thing. Absolutely love. Very underrated book I think. Um, Champions number one. Love that series. Who doesn't love the cartoon? Spider Man is amazing friends. Don't see these very often, but I think I have a couple of the of these issues. Who are the claws of the cat? Happened to recently find this one. Avengers number one. Don't see these very often anywhere around here for cheap. Nice run of Son of Satan. This 
Marvel number one. And Humans number one. We got a few more to finish up my Man Called Nova run. Still working on Super Villain Team Up. There's number one. This is a book that I've oh, I see this book all the time um, in the little ads and comic books, and I always wanted it. And I finally got it a couple years ago. It's Marvel Premier number 50 with Alice Cooper. Love that book. And then this, I'm pretty sure this is still Bronze Age, but uh, Doctor Strange 183. I know. What I love about this book is if you've ever seen the cover for the Art of Maiden album, Number of the Beast, this is the book that was kind of inspired um, Derek Riggs to draw that cover. So, I love that book. So, next I'm going to bring into some of my Kirby stuff. Obviously, one of my favorite artists. So, got Commandy number one. Still got to upgrade that one one of these days. OMAC number one. It's, uh, New Gods number one. Love that book. Sandman number one. Still need, I think, four, and, uh, five and six to finish that one off. Miracle Man. Or Mr. Miracle, Miracle Man. Mr. Miracle number one. And probably one of my favorite all time covers of all time is the Demon number one. Love that book. So then we can't have DC. Kirby without some Kirby Marvel. 2001 Space Odyssey. Love that one. Machine Man number one. Got a full run of that. Really like that one. Eternals number one. Finished that off a couple years ago. Devil Dinosaur number one. And Black Panther number one. And the last little bit here I have um, just some favorite books of mine collection. I always like to have some Tales of Suspense, number 58. Love that cover. A little faded, but don't mind. Can't 58 without 59. And the book I just got recently off of Cougar's Comics. Tales of Suspense, number 75. One of my favorite villains, Bat Rock. So I had to have his first appearance. And these last books... Last few were books that were actually given to me. Um, some by fellow YouTubers. Just got this recently from the Incredible CJ. Firestorm number 24, which is the first appearance of Blue Devil. So thanks you, CJ. Justice League number 64. First appearance of Red Tornado. Um, big shout out to Sean GPAP for that one. It's kind of like a trade, but... Uh, uh, I think I got the better of the deal. <laughs> and then without this book, I would probably not have finished my run of Captain America. So thank you again, Tom, Mr. Hippies Collectibles for Captain America 117. Big shout out to the wife for giving me this book for Christmas. For your, well, quite a few years now, Captain America 100. Um, love that book, obviously. <laughs> and last but not least, my favorite book in my collection is the very first comic book that I've ever owned. That's this book here. Don't have to don't still have the cover. Have the book, don't have the cover. Um, Brave and the Bold, 159? Yeah, 159. Awesome. So this whole house could burn down, and hey, as long as I had this book with me, I'd be happy. I think that was over 50, but who's counting, right? All right, so three YouTubers, under 100 subs. Uh, a couple of these are new to me. Uh, I've watched some of their videos, but uh, what I've seen I really liked. One is um, Brian Spaceboy227. Another one is the Longbox Love Affair. And the last one is the Comic Book Couple. All one word, the Comic Book Couple. Uh, I watched a lot of their videos. Um, it's great. Husband and wife team. Great books. Um, I think it's cool that any kind of couple can, can kind of share um, their hobby together. So check those guys out. I'll try to put links in the description below. Um, I'll probably have to do this afterwards. So I can't do it on my phone. But uh, that's all for now. Uh, thanks again to Doom 143 for having this contest. I'm sure if you subscribe to me, you're definitely subscribed to him. Um, which is, I guess I've watched his videos for years and just realized I was never subbed to him. So uh, happy to, or for years or how long he's been on. I know he's been on for a while. Uh, so happy to sub to him. And then uh, that's all. So thanks again. And uh, we'll see you next one. Thanks. Bye.